Hello everyone, welcome to part 8 of RecJS tutorial with Laravel for beginners. Okay, so uh, we are going to work on the arrow functions in this video. So what are the arrow functions? Arrow functions are similar to the normal functions only like the default function that we are using in React. Okay, but it's in the shorter form uh, means it will reduce the code. Arrow function helps us to reduce the code that we uh, we normally use. Uh, okay, I will show you like uh, uh, for the normal function. I am going to explain you here. Okay, so like a normal function, there are two types of function like the default function that we uh, use default function that we use normally use. Okay, and one is the arrow functions arrow functions okay so so here what the default function do here you need to write more line of codes like uh, first one is the function okay like uh, if you are creating the about us page in rect app then you will match it like about function about okay like this and then uh, see it will be like this and then uh, inside this we are going to return okay we know that we need to return here uh, the html okay so uh, see the braces uh, will end not here okay so braces will end up here and uh, you can see after inside this one uh, we are going to write something like div uh, something like about us page anything we can mention here then div will get close okay so this is the right uh, this is the way uh, like uh, you can see the number of lines you can see here one two three four and five and you can see that you can make it th in three lines uh, also but see in arrow function in arrow function you just require you you are going to do it in just a single line okay uh, and we need to uh, define in like this this one is the constant c o n t okay and then the function name and function name here we are going to mention like this about constant about then uh, these are the uh, uh, brackets will come here and after that just arrow function this is called the arrow okay arrow uh, okay so after that uh, here we are going to mention whatever it is like div div here we are going to mention here div and then about and then we are going to close the div in single line okay but here you can't do it like this function about return then uh, means you need to do it like this but it's just we are going to reduce the code and it will make in a single line and that will be called as the arrow function so arrow functions we can say uh, is an alternative way to define the javascript function normal javascript function okay they provide a more compact functions expression and reduce the programmer's code okay so uh, uh, in react we are going to use these arrow functions as uh, as a functional components only and uh, we are we can use uh, uh, in class components as well okay so i will uh, do now practically okay so I will explain you practically this thing and uh, here I'm going to first uh, rename this file. Okay, so I'm going to rename to some other name here so that we can create new one old app. Uh, I can mention anything. Okay. Now I'm going to create new file here. App.js okay so here uh, we are going to copy whatever we require i'm going to copy first of all everything and then we'll remove that is not required okay we can remove all these and this one also we can move okay so uh, what i am going to do i am going to make one more file here and i am going to make the component folder new folder components folder uh in future we are going to use the components folder for all the components okay 
for all the components we are going to use the components folder we will keep all the components inside the components folder for our all kind of react apps okay first of all we are going to work on the static react app then we are going to work on the dynamic react app dynamic e-commerce react app okay so but we are going to keep all the components inside the components only okay so i'm going to create one new component here inside the components and i'm going to create it like about.js this is i'm creating just to explain you the difference between the normal function and the uh, this one arrow function and one more thing i want to tell you uh, there is a shortcut of creating the uh, this one r a f c you can see here r a f c react arrow function component you just need to write here r a f c then it will come here you just need to click this one or press the enter see it will automatically write the code for you okay r a f c in your vs code just type r a f c okay so i will also mention here you need to uh, just mention this one and it will uh, uh, see uh, all this syntax will come automatically r a f c okay so this is the uh, code shorter code okay short way of writing the syntax okay shortcut we can see the shortcut okay so so this is the way okay so here uh, we can mention it like this is about this is about content this is about page okay so here you can see uh, this is the constant okay uh, so this is sorry this is the arrow function okay uh, see this one uh, you can see here the brackets come here and it will work like this and if you want to create the normal function okay then you can also create the normal function and the normal function you already know that how we used to create it okay so you can see this is the kind of the normal function okay so like if i will mention it here okay, like this so you can see how much uh, a line of code see this is the class okay uh, we can pick this one so here you can see see how much line of code you need to find here like export fault function and then return then div okay so it looks too much code in this inside this one okay so arrow function we are going to use more arrow functions okay as uh, as uh, they are uh, shorter than the normal function but you can also use these function as well there is no issue okay so but we need to understand all we need to uh, try imp implement all so that we must be aware of everything okay so now once again i am going to here you going to use this one so let's see i am going to use uh this one in app.js uh, this one i am going to import this one about page i'm going to above uh going to import this one about and here uh, i am going to uh, use this one about sorry like this and you can see here uh, our about page is ready and we can now see the changes there uh, okay so uh, yeah it is saying right because uh, we, we don't have the correct path our path must be correct enough and here our about is inside the components folder okay we have making inside the components folder so we need to mention here the components folder then the about will come okay so now we are going to check once again and this time export default okay so export default is always required that we need to add inside our file here in about okay uh, uh, so what we can use here uh, we just require to mention uh, export default about okay here we are going to mention export default uh, about okay so now we are going to check here now you can see this is coming fine here this is about page we are calling the about function uh, in the app.js file that is the app component we are uh, we are calling the uh, about component inside the app component with the help of the arrow function okay so here it is coming fine you can see and now what i'm going to do here i'm going to make it more brief okay we'll try to make it more brief, uh, brief. so let's see i'm going to what i'm going to do i'm going to use like cost about uh, equal to then brackets will come 
then arrow function will come okay uh, then uh, see here no return is not required at all div will come here this is about page okay so i'm going to remove this one and we'll see this will work or not and this is in just one line and you can see here this is about page this is working fine you can see i am making changes here just to check you can see here only in one line we can able to define the function with the help of arrow function see just this is the one line code as compared to the uh, other code you can see the component uh, class function you can see the uh, this one uh, uh, a function uh, other uh, function component function okay class function also component function also okay so in both the cases you need to write more code but here in arrow function just one line of code is doing the work okay so you can see just in one line we able to define the about function okay just in one line you can see just this is function this is only function that we are defining here like i have shown you here okay uh, so here we see okay so here uh, we are doing in so many lines and here just in one line okay so normally if you want to do i will also show you uh, now i'm going to comment this one uh, like this and in normal function what you are required to do you will do like this function about then after that uh, here a return will come okay then here div will come in div you are going to mention this is about page okay like this now you are going to see it will work like this okay so see how how many code how much code you need to write so see uh, one two three four five lines of code okay so i'm going to command this one and going to use this one it will also work fine okay so now uh, i am going to pass the variable i'm going to pass the parameter this is the way to pass the parameter inside these brackets we can able to pass the parameter okay like we used to pass if you remember we used to pass here like in the last video we able to pass uh, what we are uh, what we have passed we able to pass the uh, uh, props properties that is the parameter inside this one okay so now we are going to pass it here this is the difference so i'm going to show you like in about content i'm going to pass this some content in about content like this is the about page here i'm passing now this is about okay i am just passing this one this is about okay so this one this content uh, i'm going to use it here uh, here i am uh, required to use the props okay like we use uh, there in normal functions here i'm going to use the props and this one inside this is uh, in place of this one i'm going to use the single braces and inside this props dot whatever we have written there what we have written there content okay content i'm going to use here like this now you can see uh, here uh, what it is saying products is not defined uh, okay so if i i write uh, product products by mistake props okay props dot content okay so now you can see the this is about it is coming dynamically coming from the app.js you can pass any content from here to the uh, inner components okay like this you can pass the all the parameters here inside this one okay so you can send the multiple parameters as well like uh, content is this one and uh, any more content like uh, you want the title uh, some title of about us page okay so here as well uh, you can uh, just uh, have uh, like to uh first i'm going to pass the title then we'll show this one like this one here i'm going to show here title then content and here you can see both are coming fine about us page this is about okay so both is working fine you can see both uh, uh, title as well as the content is coming fine okay so 
like this you can able to get the multiple data you can able to get the parameters okay uh, like this so this is the way to use the arrow functions i hope that you able to use at your end as well and you if you will find any issue you can surely contact me so in the next video we are going to build one small uh, app in uh, in rect app uh, a small rect app okay uh, with links uh, with some header nav bar uh, like about us contact us page home page and with some content okay so that we can use uh for the uh, small static website okay uh so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye